Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This vlog, I'm going to take you along with me having an exam from home. I'm obviously not going to show you while I'm doing the exam, but you know, just show you a bit about the setup and what I've had to do and things like that. I'm doing my paediatric part two exam, which is called the AKP tomorrow morning. Um, it's all day. It's uh, two, two and a half hour papers and I've just started prepping for tomorrow. So I thought I would show you and take you along. Now, because I'm doing my exam from my laptop, I need to close all my tabs beforehand. So I'm just going to do the therapeutic closing of tabs now, but I'm also going to kind of revise whilst I do it. So I didn't want to sit this exam from home. I have a whole video of me signing up to the exam and realising that I had to sit it at home on my channel. Um, but I am sitting at home. My only other option was to go to like Birmingham or something, which I didn't want to do. So um, over the last week, they sent us like test emails so we could test like our internet speed and set up everything. And then I also had to download an app on my phone, which is like an invigilator. So I'll do the um, exam on my laptop and then I have to set up my phone somewhere to um, where they can kind of invigilate me from. And apparently beforehand, I basically show them my room and show them everything so that they can see there's nothing else in the room. Um, yeah, I'm, I feel very weird that I'm doing it from home. Like it doesn't feel like an exam. And I'm also really worried about all the different things that might go wrong, but I'm kind of just trying to do everything I can now to prevent that. So I'm going to set up everything. I need to have my ID ready. I need to have my exam paperwork that like says I'm doing the exam ready and I show it to them somehow. Don't know how, I really don't know how any of this is going to work. And then tomorrow I'm going to make sure my laptop is plugged in and my phone is plugged in and have everything set up and ready to go. And also today, I'm also gonna just clear my room and get rid of things like my books and I don't know what else. I'll see, get rid of some stuff just so that they don't get fussy about it. I'd rather just have it sorted now than have to sort it out tomorrow morning. I've been revising all day, I feel very tired. So I just kind of need to sort out these last bits and bobs and head to sleep because I think at this point in time, that's like the most important thing I should be doing. I'm just getting all my books and putting them in a box under my bed. I have no idea if this is necessary, but like I say, I just don't want drama in the morning. My dress is just drying over there, <laughs> ignore that. I've got a cookbook in here. Um, yeah, just shoving it all away. Right, it probably looks the same to you, but I got rid of a load of stuff that was there. I got rid of my books. I cleared my desk. There was like a plant there and some like other bits and bobs. I got rid of all of them. I had like my washing basket here and some wine bottles, but I put them all outside. And then here is my um, like getting ready stuff in the morning. I'm going to put that all in that bag and also put that outside. Yeah, maybe I'll get rid of that frame as well. Just make things as chill as possible. I think oh, I'll get rid of that frame as well. And then here I have my clothes ready for tomorrow. I'm just wearing a hoodie and a t-shirt and some comfy trousers and some socks. Having this handy in case I need to put it set up somewhere for my invigilation, but I'm not really sure where I'm going to put the camera. Maybe I'll move some of these plants and put it on this ledge. I'm not really sure. Um, but the plan is, I'll talk to you here. And the plan is to um, log in nice and early and get all the invigilation stuff out of the way so that I don't have to stress about it and just make sure that they're happy with everything. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this um, doing it from home. Um, and there's just so many variables that can go wrong. Like I've had to message all my housemates being like, can you make sure you're not too loud tomorrow and try not to use too much internet. Um, but yeah, there'll be perks to it as well. So yeah, just setting up. So I'm just reading through my emails just to double check I've done everything correctly. Um, and then I've just got up my um, admissions document, which is what I have to show them in the morning. I'll just show it to you. I must display a copy of this to my invigilator and show ID. I've got my ID, my driving license on my desk. It said, um, we can have two sheets of notepaper. So I've got that ready with my pen that we have to rip into eight pieces in front of the camera. Um, and yeah, just some same stuff really. So and we're allowed a water bottle and a laptop and a mouse. That is it. I was just going to sleep and realised I hadn't said goodnight, so I turned on my fairy lights just to say that, hence the terrible lighting. Um, I just went over some more things like the vaccination schedule and development that I hadn't really had a chance to go over. And yes, we will see how I go. I feel weirdly okay. I hope I sleep well because that's like the really important thing. Um, yeah, see you in the morning. 
Morning guys, it's exam day. Um, it's about half eight right now, I woke up at half seven and um, just went over some stuff in my head while I was in bed and then I had a shower and I've just been going through some of my notes that I made just this morning just to kind of recap some um, commonly examined topics. I'll, I'll show you just a sec. So like I wrote these in the last few days, just of things I kept getting wrong or didn't know. Um, yeah, literally just random facts. I'm just going through them now. I've got about half an hour left. I'm gonna log in at nine so I can get all the invigilation stuff out of the way. So I'm just gonna run downstairs and have some toast. I've cleared my room quite a bit. I'll just show you. So like obviously I'm gonna get rid of those and this and put them outside. Um, I'm gonna to need to put all that in there. And then this is my outfit I showed you yesterday, just a t-shirt and some trousers. I put my lenses in because my vision has been a bit weird recently. I think I'm more short-sighted than I used to be, so I'd rather just have lenses in so I can see properly. Um, and socks, because I find socks are very comfortable. <laughs> Sorry, the kettle's just on, but normally before an exam, I always get a coffee on my way in. But obviously I can't do that today, and I considered popping out to go get one, but it's raining. So I'm just making coffee, hopefully it'll be enough. And I'm gonna have some toast. I was gonna have a big glass of water, but I don't want to pee during my exam. So I'm just gonna take some water in with me. And I'll obviously have some now, but I'm just very conscious of how much water I drink because I don't want to be desperate for a wee and then have to waste time. And I just don't like the faff of going to the toilet in the exam, so I try to avoid it if I can. But I have had many exams where I've had to do that. So whatever happens, happens. Whatever my bladder decides to do. And here's what I'm having for breakfast. Just some avocado on toast with sesame oil and sriracha and salt. Cheers. Oh, that's strong, but yeah, I need it that strong. Right, it's 8.55, I've done all the cramming I can. I just read over some stats because I hate stats and I haven't really done any revision of stats. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go put all my books outside and get started. So this is my exam set up. Um, I put an extension cable here because they said your phone has to be plugged in. So it's just running up behind and it's there. I've got my tripod there. Hopefully they're happy with it there or they might want it behind me. My water, they want it in a bottle, but hopefully that's fine. Got a hair band in case I need to tie my hair up. My pens, my ID and my hoodie. And then that's it. That's my whole room. I'm gonna go for a wee and then get started. I actually just moved all my books because they were in the corridor, but I passed that to go to the toilet and I was like, that's not exam friendly. So I moved them all downstairs into the dining room because I don't pass that at all to go to the toilet. So if any invigilators are watching this, I just need you to know that, that I moved my books and they are now downstairs. Okay, I'm beginning to feel quite nervous. I think I'm gonna sign off here, do some deep breaths beforehand. I like to pray sometimes beforehand just to get me calm. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I went downstairs with my books downstairs. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna sign on. I'll see you after my exam. Um, wish me luck. Bye. I forgot I'm allowed blank paper, so I just went downstairs and got a sheet. <laughs> What's the point of having a pen if I don't have paper? I was all ready to go and start setting up and I can't actually get into anything until 9.20. It's like, you're early. And if you try and start, it's just the same page comes up. So, gotta wait. I just did part one. Um, I had a whole stress before I started because I realised my screen sharing wasn't working. You're meant to share your screen. Um, and then it turned out my settings, I had like blocked Google Chrome from doing that. And I thought I checked this all last night, but obviously I hadn't. But luckily it was all sorted. I started, then I had to like video and show like the ceiling and under my desk and to show my ears and like all around my room. Um, yeah, it was okay. I don't know. It's kind of nice not being able to dwell on it with other people because normally I feel okay and then I get really stressed out talking to other people. So um, I'm just going to like have a lie down. I might order some delivery as a treat because if I were out, if I were having the exam in London, I probably would have bought lunch. Um, yeah. I feel a bit like weird. I'm like, what do I do now? And I'm like worried. Did anything go wrong? Did they get my paper? I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you later. Another thing that happened is I needed to go to the loo during the exam and then I messaged on the thing being like, can I go to the loo? And then I was like, but I'm an adult, why do I need to ask to go to the loo? And they'd said at the beginning, you can have a five minute loo break. Um, like you can go to the loo, but only once in a maximum of five minutes. And then I was waiting for their reply and I was desperate to go to the loo. So I just went, I was like, I'm going. And then I went and I came back and I said, I'm back. 
And then like five minutes after that, they were like, you can go, but when you come back, you have to show us your room again. And I was like, oh, I've already been and gone. Should I show you my room now? And they were like, yeah. So they just showed them my room. And it's just funny. I was just in this whole like stress of like, should I go to the loo or should I not go to the loo? But I had to go to the loo, so I went to the loo. Another thing is that they wanted the camera like away from you, like three meters away. And I, I don't have three meters, but um, I ended up, I was in like a panic of what to do. So I ended up taking this plant out and putting it in here um, and then putting my camera here on that. But um, I was very much like, I don't know, it's probably like two meters, but they were happy. I said to them, is this okay? And they were like, they were happy with it. It was all on a chat. I didn't speak to anyone, but yeah. Also, I have a really bad habit of um, like Googling questions after an exam. But I think being at home and not being able to discuss it with anyone is really helping me just kind of forget about it and move on to the next one. Um, yeah, I don't really know how it went. Like there were hard questions, there were okay questions. And last time I cried and cried and cried after thinking I'd failed and then I passed. So I'm just really, I obviously don't have a good gauge of of how an exam went. So I'm just gonna try and not think about it and wait till exam, get, wait till the results day. Um, yeah, gosh, I really need to leave my room. I think I've been in here too much. I, um, I might go for a walk and go and get a coffee and a sandwich or something instead of getting a delivery just for some fresh air. I've got like an hour and a half still. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. The weather is so beautiful. I realized that I did actually go to Pret in my last vlog. Um, the NLS one, but I actually haven't been to Pratt since that, so I don't go to Pratt that much. I don't even think their coffee's that nice, it's just easy to get to, and the vegan cookie's very nice. So yeah, I've got my food, a vegan cookie and a coffee. I'm gonna finish this and then I'm making my way back home and kind of just wanna have 10 minutes to chill before I start. Um, I'm trying not to think about the exam too much. Like last time, I really stressed out. I really, really stressed out, I cried. I discussed the answers of those, I looked up loads of answers and it really put me in a bad way. Probably affected how I did in the second exam. So I'm just trying to not think about it, chill, be happy, hang on to the next one. Because everything I did in the last one won't affect the next one. Anyway, see you in a bit. Also, I forgot to say, when I was in Pret, it was so weird to see people dining indoors. Like, hasn't been like that since December. And because this is the first time I left the house since Monday, it's the first time I've seen it. But yeah, really happy for the world, for England. I was really stupid because when I left to go to prep, I thought, okay, I have 45 minutes and then I have 15 minutes to chill and then I've got the exam. And then I got back and I was like, wait, my exam's at two and it's 1.15, so I have 45 minutes. And basically in my haste, I miscalculated, but luckily I miscalculated the way that means I have time rather than the way that means I don't have time. And now I keep panicking and I keep like checking my email and checking the time and I'm like, no, it starts at two and it's 1.30 right now, I have half an hour, and then I start. And it's just like, okay, get that in your brain. Cool, great. All right guys, it's nearly time. I'm ready to go. Um, I've got my little tripod in my plant stand. And the next time I see you, I will have completed my exams. I'm very nervous, but we just gotta focus and get through. So I'll see you later. I finished. Oh my god, that second one was so hard. Like, so many questions I wasn't sure about and I was so tired by the end of it that when I was checking I was just kind of making sure that I'd put an answer rather than checking my reasoning because I was just so tired I'd rather just go with my gut. Anyway, all done. I feel really weird now because I'm like done but also I feel like stressed about some loads of those questions. What can I do? I'm gonna chill now. Chill, chill. I think I have to have a nap. I'm so tired. So tired. I'm in my bed and I genuinely feel like my brain is going to explode. I'm just remembering random things from the, from the exam. Like at one point, there was a fly just like walking around my glass of water in the inside. And I was like, you cannot go in my water because then I can't drink it. Um, and then I managed to like get it out and make it go away. And then I was, you just get really stressed because you're like, I'm in an exam. Why, why does this fly have to do this to me? Um, but yeah. I'm trying not to not to think about the exam too much, but like I keep thinking about it. I've also written a huge list of things I need to do now, now that the exam's over, because I kept putting things off and being like, don't need to do that. 
and now I need to do them. Also, I realised, because I had to give, show my driving licence, I realised that my driving licence expired last week, so I need to renew that as well. So that's another thing on the to-do list. But yeah, I think I'm just going to have a nap, or at least just stay lying here for a bit, because my head really hurts. It's just so weird how much an exam takes out of you, like it makes you so tired when you're not actually doing any physical activity, it's all just your brain. Just that, just brain energy. But yeah, I've got a well, really bad headache, so I'm hoping I can just get rid of that before I head out tonight. I was just thinking about whether I liked sitting my exam from home, and there were definitely pros. The biggest one being it feels much more relaxed. Like Once you've got the whole invigilation stuff set up and your technical things aren't out of the way, it's just... It's not as stressful as being in an exam centre. And also, I'm very bad at discussing questions and asking people what they put. But when you're at home, you can't do that. Um, and yeah, it probably just makes me feel a bit better now. But there was also the stress of like setting up my thing and making sure I've done everything right. And like, I was worried that the camera wouldn't work. And I've heard stories of people, um, people's cameras not working. And then they get emailed like a week later saying the camera didn't record anything. And, and like we're not sure if we can let you let that paper be okay. So there were all those stresses, um, but there was also this, there's also the lack of stress. So I don't know, pros and cons. But at the moment, I think, I think if I had to sit another exam, I probably would still opt to go to the test centre because it's what I'm used to. But I wouldn't be like, oh my God, no way to, to sitting at home. Whereas before I was a bit like, oh my God, no way, but I had to do it. Um, so yeah, if you have to sit in an exam from home, it will probably be fine is what I'm trying to say. But I think I do prefer going to a test centre. Yes, that's my final answer. I've spent the last hour, two hours in my bed, just like chilling, but my head still hurts. And I'm going out for dinner with my friends, two of my friends from F1, and I literally don't know what to wear. Like, I haven't been out for dinner since December, so it's been almost six months. Other than one time I had dinner outside, like in April, when we were allowed to do outside stuff. But yeah, really don't know what to wear. Literally, what to wear. I have decided in celebration I'm going to put the tiniest amount of liquid eyeliner on. By the way, I'm sorry about my dirty mirror. You know, just had an exam and everything. Can't be bothered to... Okay, wait, can't talk. Probably a bit overkill for me, but you know, I went for it. You know, I just finished an exam. I'm going to put liquid eyeliner on. And this is my outfit, um, probably a bit too much of a nice top just to wear for like a casual dinner, but I'm going for it. Um, this top is from Topshop. I think I got it in 2019. Yeah, but I haven't worn it since the winter of 2019 because last winter there was nothing to do. And these trousers are from Zara. I stole them off my sister when I was in F1, so that's 2018. And I wear them all the time because they're comfy and they look smart. Um, and I'll probably wear a coat and some shoes. As you can tell from this pile on my bed, I had no idea what warmth layer to wear, but I'm just wearing this navy blazer, navy coat, navy coat. Gosh, there's so much dust that I also stole off my sister. So two thousand outfits from my sister. Um, but this is also really old from Zara, but I love it. Very like practical, matches with lots of stuff. So I'm now just a navy and white mesh, and I'm gonna put white trainers on. So you know. Oh, and this bag. I love this bag so much. It's a great size and it looks cool and it's vegan leather. It's from JW Pie. Um, yeah, I wear it a lot. But one hilarious thing about this coat is that the lining's broken. So I can literally put my hand all the way there. And same with the other pocket. Hello. So sometimes if I put things in my pocket, they fall in the lining. I've actually found things, useful things in here before. Like once I needed a mask and then I found one in the lining. Um, no, it seemed to have emptied it the last time I used this coat. But anyway, yeah, I think that happens a lot with Zara stuff, just like lining breaks, because it's like good quality with bad quality. See, look, there's that lining poking out. Guys, I'm actually pre-eating a slice of toast. Oh God, butter, lol. Um, I'm pre-eating a slice of toast because I'm a lightweight at the best of times, and our dinner reservation is until half eight, and we're gonna go for a drink before, and half eight is in two hours. So I thought if I, have a slice of toast now, it will help me not get too drunk too quickly. 
Yeah, cool, it's just raining on my head. Yeah, she probably can't see it, but it's raining on my head. Watch how it's gonna be sunny in a minute. Modern. Would you look at that? It's a double rainbow. There's one and there's the other. It feels so weird to be out and about and for the world to be normal. Like, this feels really strange. Here I am with Rachel and Rasheen. We all did F1 together and I haven't seen Rachel since F1. I don't think I've seen Rachel since F1. I see Rasheen all the time. Okay, I'll back. <laughs> What's this, Rachel? Chin chin. Chin chin. Cheers! 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 Hello! Hey guys, I just got home. I just want to say thanks so much for watching this vlog. I'm sorry if the end was a bit bitty, but obviously I just wanted to hang out with my mates. It was very nice to see them. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!